Yo, <clears throat> what's up, a sexy Sandlander squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. I'm gonna be playing some Kamazots for your people, your people out there who wanted the Kamazots. Make sure, by the way, if you guys play Idol Heroes, because I do, I'm not sponsored by them, I wish I was. But if you guys play Idol Heroes, um, <clears throat> go ahead and switch your server over to server 525. And uh, join my clan. I have a community clan on there at 525. I'm going to go horrific and I'm just going to really hope that I hit level 5 before him. Because if I hit level 5 before him, I can alt the Kraken and run away. Or just alt him and kill him, preferably. But we'll see. Also, make sure to check out the merch. By the way, in the description below. Minions have spawned. Of course, he starts with Warrior's Blessing and Tier 1 Defense. I don't really know if he expected to outclear me there with full defense, but um, I mean, I guess he did expect it, huh? He wouldn't have tried if he didn't expect to get it. He just used all of his abilities, so he's not going to go for this one. going to push wave. I'll log into this, I don't really care. He did actually hit level 5 before him. I cannot kill him. Like, end discussion, it's just not possible. He's so tanky. I mean, I'll, you know what, fuck it, I'll try. Oh, no! Fuck. Did he get an assist? He did get an assist, but I mean... It's okay, I guess, right? Like... He's still level 4. I'm a little scared though, actually, because I don't have Aegis. And my ult is down. But maybe he probably can't even kill me anyways, to be honest, with that build. Or or that aim. I took most of that damage from archers, yeah. Six hundred from archers. Oh, I was not expecting that to hit him. Alright, second blood down, looking pretty promising so far this game is. We'll sell the health pot, we don't really need it. I do want to go Hydras. This Hydras is crazy. I don't really understand the full defense build right off the bat. Like I understand he's trying to get late game, but you kind of want that lead with Poseidon, you know? Yeah, I mean, this is honestly going exactly how I wanted it to because I knew the second that he was not going damage that there was no chance in hell he beats me early game. And I mean, I'm happy to say that I was right. I don't really know what he expected.
Oh my god. Um, so I didn't get my heal when I jumped. I didn't know that happened. I didn't know that the cripple actually stopped you from landing. Like, the ability from landing. Does it stop on her's jump too? Hmm. Or is it only, like, a lucky, like, if you land right when the tick damage hits? That could be it. Whatever, it's all right. Let's push, uh, push tower down. Uh. He still has shell up. He's gonna have to shell that. The as expected juke back towards me. No, one thing that kind of sucks is that I don't have any mana. Pull back. I'm still not going to go defense. I really want to try to push this lead as much as I can. If this game goes super late game and he gets gem online, I'll probably lose. So, I got to be really aggressive with it. Be really aggressive with the game. He actually just warded that. Fine by me. He's going to crack me. Go do Bull Demon. This Kraken is down. He shouldn't be able to steal it. And yeah, basically all I'm doing is I'm being insanely aggressive because it's the way you beat Poseidon. Like a lot of people are all about, oh, I gotta play passive, I gotta play passive. He's got Kraken up, you know? And I understand that to some extent. You can't get Kraken because you'll fucking die. But at the same time, um, if you're not pushing him under tower, if you're not really like forcing his hand to crack in uh, when it's not ideal for him, you know, like I'm just, I'm running at him. I'm holding W at him and I'm forcing him to use these abilities that he does not want to use just to try to stay alive. And if I can keep doing that, then I'll win this game pretty heavy. I'm just going to make sure that, uh, that I don't die, you know, because that would, that would be the worst. That is also the worst when you miss an ability that you shouldn't miss. Okay. Nice. All my minions to help me clear this. He's down for a couple of seconds, so I'll throw the two on here. Do some damage. I'll stand on this. I need the mana. And yeah, I'm just gonna be forcing him down, dude. Running his ass down. That's all right. Not much I can do there. I'm gonna go Titans. He's relatively tanky. I mean, it's definitely not tanky enough to warrant Titans Bane, uh, but it does well against the Titan, you know. So that's what I'm doing it for. Fifteen percent of enemy gods. It says enemy gods, but it actually does work against Titan. 
I don't know if that's fixed or not. Or if only maybe full Titan's Bane works on Titan. So now that I've got him on the back foot, all I have to do is make sure that I can uh, I can keep that Phoenix down. And if I can keep that Phoenix down, then all we gotta do is uh, we got a time game on our hand. In which I will win. Because, because I want it more. Because I want to win more. That's why, to be honest. I'm very, very happy he has not gone gem yet, by the way. I would be one dead motherfucker had he gone gem already. Cracking down, we did some more damage to the Titan. This is all I'm gonna do, by the way. I'm just gonna keep fucking running at him. Running at him and dying to Titan. Like, I could've Aegis that, but now that, um... I don't wanna have my Aegis down when he Krakens when I'm trying to take the Phoenix, you know? Like, I got good damage on the Titan there. So, all I have to do now is retake the Phoenix so that's, that damage sticks on Titan. This is my last fire wave coming up right now. Got the phoenix down. Those minions are gonna die. He can't push. My damage sticks on Titan now. There we go. Now we get a bulwark. He's going very auto attack heavy, which is okay. I mean, it's not awful, but it does mean that uh, if he kills me and he has a minion wave, he'll be able to get my phoenix. And he'll be able to end game really fast also. I have to keep being aggressive though. If I stop the aggression, then I lose the game straight up, like end of discussion. I have to follow my wave and make sure it gets to him. <clears throat> I could also hold wave, but that's not very fun to watch, so. Oh, you just crack in here. Kip Jen. Just not a gun. Playing so passive. How do I aggress on that? I don't know. Gem now. Poked out again. 
That wasn't the best, to be honest, because Phoenix is going to spawn soon. Mm, that was actually pretty bad. Wave just spawned, so like it's not like he's going to get anything off of it. I guess he gets red buff. But the Phoenix spawning is bad. And the fact he has gem now is really bad. <sighs> Shit. I gotta get Bold Demon. Titan's gonna be full health by the time I get Bold Demon and get over there though. And get ready enough to fight it too. Alright, I don't give a shit about that tower. I want to get down this phoenix as fast as possible. I cancelled my ult, uh, because... He's Fucking hell, he's fast. Jesus Christ, I can't do anything. Well, I think I probably lost game. It got too late. I couldn't end fast enough. Poseidon is a god that beats Kamazots, though. Poseidon and Uller and... Uh, there's one other mage. Mages are really good against Kamazots, actually. It's pretty much just because of Gem of Iso. But... God damn, dude. Your middle phoenix is under attack. Um, there's one good thing that came out of this, and it's that he doesn't have sprint. Gem is more than enough to deter me, dude. Got the mine too. Oh. Yeah, this guy's played this matchup hundreds of times based on how he's playing right now. Best thing I can do is clear the wave and then Aegis crack it. Maybe I can live a fight with some gem. There's actually nothing I can do in these fights. I have max cooldown too. Well, I have blue buff, so I have max cooldown, but I don't right now. Um, yeah, he's just full auto attack with gem and divine. That's that's literally the perfect build to beat Kamazots. And you know he's in level twenty fucking Poseidon. The only chance I had was keep suiciding for that Titan, but I uh, wasn't able to do it. And yeah, this is the attack speed build that I was talking about. Because he has so much attack speed, he can do all this garbage. Not to mention he's super fucking fast. I'm just gonna take Phoenix. Okay, apparently I can't. Apparently I don't do fucking damage, which, uh, news to me. He just wins the game at this point. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. 
I was not expecting him to check there. I knew I knew I was gonna back there, right? But like he checked there. Whatever, nothing I can do. Really, really hard matchup. Uh, he played it perfectly. I played it perfectly too. It's just a better matchup for him. So when two perfect players hit each other, the better matchup wins. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.